All right, we've been working on the uh, flood in my shop here. I spoke a little too soon about not having any water damage. So we had two and three quarter inches in that one day, and it was four inches, I think, in three days. Something like that. i been using my stink box. Turn that. We got a lot of airflow. Anyway, it flooded all under here, all under here. Halfway up to my cylinders here, all wet. That's all this stuff here. It was wet underneath the lathe under here. Not over there. So, the big thing is all wet under here, which means it was up wet under all my machinery going across. And it's got a lake right here in the middle of the shop, in a low spot, which is here, which comes through the doorway way over there. It comes underneath all the stuff under here. There's a whole bunch of motors and stuff underneath the, behind all this stuff. You can't get to it. So it'll be nice and wet. So all this water kind of drains this way under here. Came through here. Went down through this way. On the lathe. Through here. And then puddle up over there and it went that way. So along the wall back there where it used to leak. Along this wall here it's not leaking. And through the doorway out here it's not leaking anymore. But it still leaks over there. So anyway, I'm just picking up water here with a rag. It's I had to pull this tile up. I've been running the heater for hours. And fans on everything. Got the fan blowing. The fan does about as good as anything. So I've been running a stink box in here, fumigating myself. So, but it makes heat. So I dry it under here first, and then over here, and then over here. And just the last of it under here. And I worked my way down this way thinking it wasn't too wet and then I come into a lake under here. Surprisingly it wasn't wet here in the aisle, so I think that water's kind of makes a loop, goes like this, comes back around. I don't know, I stuck a bunch of stuff over there to get out of the way. I opened up the file cabinets to let the moisture, because underneath those are open, so you let the moisture come up and hopefully it doesn't rust all your crap. There's a bunch of motor cases up under there that are mine. The big block Chevy stuff got rusted again. It likes being rusted. Well, actually, I think it's a big block Ford crank, but big block Chevy heads. But uh, anyway, the moisture is in there. Can you see it? Reflecting. So I'm going to have to fix my doorway over there. <clears throat> no water through here. I used to get water through here all the time. So there's a lip right here that catches the water going that way. When we put the rain gutter in up there, that stopped 90% of the leakage here. And I keep these boards right here to kind of slow stuff down. There was no water under here at all, which is usually how it used to leak. It used to go in the fully bench along the wall. So that part's fixed. The problem is that coming through here, there was so much water coming over through here. You get up to the sill up here. And once you get up in the sill under there, there's a crack like this on the other side where the wood is, and the water goes right down. So I haven't seen the water build up here in quite a while. Since I cleared all this aisle out and took down this fence over here, I haven't had water build up. And there's a rain gutter up there which helped a lot also. Kept the water off the door, which used to hit the door and go down the sill and leak like that. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to seal it there and maybe put some kind of a seal in at the door. I don't know. we got to stop that leakage. I think that's the only real place it leaked. So anyway, I get all the stuff cleared out so I can get in here, and let air through, and clear all this crap out under here. I've been going for hours. It's only gone up four degrees since I've been doing all the heating here. But ten o'clock now. I started about five. Yeah, that's good. So much for getting work done around here today. So. Anyway, I'm going to continue soaking all this crap up. We're going to turn on that old stink box over there and start blowing hot air into here. That stink box does work pretty good. So these are all... I'm surprised they able to get these tiles up. Because uh, they're jammed in here pretty tight. But Once I got the one side up, it, you can peel it up and get to it. I'll get these out of my way. The room in here is kind of fun. Alright, well there's my stink box. So. I'll get that fired up in a little bit, show you how it runs. Alright, it's becoming more and more fun over here. So, 
got the stink box over here waiting to get going on it. I moved that heavy ass cabinet over because I just keep pulling to get two, two of these out of there which is over down the water. So it's got a lot of water up under here. Kind of like a lake right under here. Looks like it's relatively dry over there, so maybe it's just right here. So I'm going to pull this up. I got the motor up in the air, so I'm going to pull this tidal up. So I'm going to try to get all this tile out here, which does not like to come out. I'm going to get soak all this water up. It's fun. I just assembled half the shop here to do this, so yeah, fun, fun, fun. Oh well. Turn out to be more of a, more of a job than it was before. But, all right. We'll be back.